Are you about to enter the end game and your farm still looks like this? Are you struggling to design a perfect farm in Stardew Valley? Well, if yes, then you have come to the right place. In today's video, I will show you 6 easy steps to make your dream farm in Stardew Valley. Hi, my name is Crystal and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Step 1. Choose your farm wisely. There are numerous different options to choose from. If you're playing Stardew for the first time or you are a type of player who loves to work on your farm's beautification, then I would recommend you go for the standard farm or the forest farm. But if you have played Stardew Valley dozens of times and you're looking for something new, then I would recommend you to either go with the beach farm or the hilltop farm. I'm choosing the standard farm for this video because it is my all-time favorite. Step 2. Clear your farm. When you set foot on your farm for the first time, there is absolute chaos here. So whenever you're seriously ready to work on your farm, you should clear it first completely, which means it should be free of debris and unnecessary trees. Step 3. Know what you wanna build. There are tons of buildings which are essential to have on your farm. I want you to always have a rough sketch of what you want to build on your farm. This way you will never get lost while choosing what to build. For example, on this farm, I want to construct two coops, two barns, four sheds, a slime hutch, a stable, two silos, three mills, and how can we forget about the most useful and important thing, the well? Step 4. Flooring and Fencing this step is arguably the foundation of a perfect farm. Let's take a look at flooring. There are a lot of options to choose from. We get 8 types of floors and 5 types of pathways. You can use whatever floor that suits your taste. One thing you should keep in mind is that do not stick to a single type. Use a variety of floors and trust me this will add a lot of detail to your farm. You can also make combinations by using two or more different types of floors for a single road. Some of my personal favorite combos are these. You should also use flooring to make a boundary for specific structures you want to build in the future. This will give your farm a rough layout. Now let's talk about fencing. Fencing is pretty straightforward. If you prefer a stony vibe, you can use these. But if you're a fan of the woody vibe, you can use these. Also avoid using excessive fences on your farm. This will make it look untidy. Step 5. Build structures. Farms can get boring pretty easily, so to spice things up a bit, you should make certain structures. For example, a flower garden, which will have beehives and flowers. This not only gives you honey, but also looks great. A smelting station, this is where you will put all your furnaces and some other machines. After a hectic day in the mines, you can perform all ore smelting work here at one place. A tea garden. This is inspired by Caroline's green tea spot. You can come here, sit down, chill and slurp on some green tea. A tapper farm. Tapper farms are super important to have on your farm because the products you get from these are very much needed throughout the game. A farm square. Similar to the town square in Pelican Town, you can make your very own farm square. This should carry all your valuable trophies. You can also add plants to spruce it up. Mini Secret Woods Surround an area with trees and fruit trees and in the center throw in some grass, benches, tables and lighting. Congrats, you have your very own private chilling spot. This looks hella cool at night. Keg Isle It's just kegs, okay? Lots of them. Angler's Corner. This is something to represent the joys of fishing in Stardew Valley. Throw in some recycling machines, crab pots, end tables with some fishing souvenirs and worm bins. Try to make it near a water body so it will look much better. Unimo Shrine. 
Make a little structure with dunamos and plants surrounded with solar panels so it will have a purpose to produce battery packs. This is one of my favorites. Step 6. Final Touches These are some final things you should do. Add some cheese presses and mayonnaise machines near your animal area. Now that everything is complete, go to Robin and rearrange any building which looks a bit out of order. Add some detail to the shipping bin area, maybe make a little garden or make a lucky purple shot shrine like me. Nice. Place many obelisks around your farm to make navigation easy. Fill in remaining areas with grass and pathways. Throw in some ornamental hay bake grass flooring in the animal area. Add lots of lighting to the farm because at night things can get very dark. So take care of lighting. Torches can be hidden behind big things that way they will give light while being invisible. Add big trees around the greenhouse, it looks great. Add signs of vessels on fish ponds, these indicate what fish and how many of them are present in the pond. And that's pretty much it. But remember, I only made this video to give you guys a little lead. It's up to you whatever you want to do. So go on, boot up Stardew and start decorating your farm right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Share this video with a friend who is struggling to come up with the farm design. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.